here in the Vale and Summit County zone. And uh, I'm out here on southerly slopes below tree line and just assessing the wet avalanche danger. Um, you can see the surface snow. The surface snow, you can't even make a snowball out of it. Um, the wind, you can hear in the background, is keeping everything really cool. And the first thing I noticed when I stepped out of my skis, I'm not, I'm not punching down into the snowpack. It's pretty supportable. You can see in my ski tracks, speed up, really supportable as well, and barely punching through. Now, if I was going to punch down through the snowpack to my knees or waist, um, that'd be a red flag, and I'd be out of here pretty quick. So I've already determined that uh, we're not dealing with a wet avalanche issue for right now. The, the snow surface is pretty frozen. Um, it is a southwest facing slope, so. Uh, the peak heating really hasn't happened yet. Peak heating will happen on southwest slopes afternoon in the late afternoon as the sun comes around in the sky. So uh, if I was on this slope later, I'd have to reassess. I'm here below tree line on a southerly aspect. And uh, there's this little area here in between the trees where the snow is really soaking wet. Um, when you step out of your skis, you sink all the way down. And uh, a skier came down before me and triggered, you can see the crack of this, uh, this slab. It didn't release on the slope, uh, but it did break uh, probably about uh, 12 inches down. And you can see the snow underneath is super wet. It's, uh, it's fast as snow that's, it's fast as snow that's become wet for the first time. Whereas this snow has been wet previously. Um, this is the first time water is making it down to this interface. The snow is just uh, you know, soaking wet here. You can see how you sink in. So if you sink into the snow, it's a really bad sign and a chance you can trigger 